The final race at the World Speed Skating Championship at the track in Zandvoort. And this is a big race coming, baby. Scott, tell us something about it. Yeah, we've seen some super, super fast 1K heats and qualifying rounds here. Uh, Bart Swings looking really impressive after his uh, relay performance this afternoon. Pedro Calcil, I believe, is in there. Yeah, Alexi Contan and our team skater, Uwen Fernandez. Let's see how they go. And then we have that uh, Spanish dude, Pachi, who seems to be quite a fox as well. He might be in for a medal. Okay, and once again, oh, this was a false start. Of course, the nerves are everywhere. Um, is this going to be uh, swings on wings once again? Uh, maybe. I mean, the 1K, you need a little bit of luck because uh, it's only five laps, so one tiny, tiny mistake and it's race over. Uh, yeah, it'll be, put it this way, I think this will be his hardest race to win. Did Bart ever get a gold medal at the 1000 meters at World Championships? No, I believe he's only uh, been in the final once before in, uh, in 2010 in Guane. Uh, he's always seemed to come a little bit unlucky through the qualifying rounds with, with the times and the draws and things like that. Another full start. Oy, 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 oy. This might have been the Dutch guy. This is Mark Horsten, who is also a consistent performer, but more kind of a, like 5 to 10 skater. Yeah, he, um, what Mark's got on him is he's got a super fast flying lap. So therefore, uh, he's able to come home strong in those last 100 meters. Uh, he can't match the pure sprinters out of the blocks but he's really, really good in those dying meters. And the Korean guy in there, what do you think? <laughs> to be honest, I don't know. Uh, I mean, he's Korean, so he's gonna be good. Okay, and Jura van der Berge, you think Jura will have to work for his swings again? I don't know, I'm sure they'd like to put two guys on the podium. I mean, Jura was part of the team that won the relay this afternoon. It's his home track. Obviously, he's our team skater too. So, oh. Oh, here we go again with a full start. It seems today they will not get out of there. Um, Alexis Conten has been getting some medals already. He, he told us he is looking for a gold one. Uh, what will happen there? Is he a big contender for gold? Yeah, I believe he got second in it some years ago. Uh, so he's, he's got a fast lap on him. But uh, he's maybe not as super fast like Bart, but he's got, what he, where he's got the benefit is he's got a teammate. But Maybe tonight the team, uh, Ewan will get a crack at the win after the last two nights' work he's done for uh, Alexi. Okay, but Bart is probably going to go full out and just try and drop them. He took a world record in the semis. Does he want to do that again? Uh, the final's a different race because you're actually racing for the win as opposed to time. So uh, it'll be an interesting race. I don't know if he'll want to hit it from five to go. Uh, he may do against a guy like Pedro being in there, but... Pedro still seems to be carrying that little injury, so he's not firing on all cylinders at the moment either. We remember that you had the world record once also of the 1,000 meters. Bart just broke it. Um, I also remember you got second at the world championships. What was your tactic? Yeah, I had to go full because I was against uh, two strong Colombian sprinters, and if I wait into those last few laps, uh, it would have been a waste of time. And I was racing for the win as opposed to just a medal, so I was a little bit unlucky by that. But that's that's how it works here. Okay, so the pistol seems to be working. There's, so maybe now we finally get an official start rather than just some skaters skating away. Oh, and the crowd is getting crazier and crazier also because there's a big crowd here today thanks to how famous Bart Swings has become in speed skating and in general in Belgium. Um, how does this influence on the performance of the skaters? Uh, some people will actually embrace it, others will be intimidated by it. It's, uh, uh, it uh, Bart looks super, super relaxed actually. He's, I mean, right now he's king of the world. Uh, two gold medals from two races doesn't get much better than that. So, I don't think it'll affect him too much. It's probably more having more effect on guys who haven't won yet, who are looking for that, uh, looking for that gold medal. There are some skaters in there that did not only do the relay, they did not only do the 1000, but also the 500 today. So for them, it's like their third distance today. Is that a disadvantage? Yeah, it's got to start uh, start catching up on them. I know Yora's done a lot of racing today, but uh, he's been training hard here beforehand. So he knows what he's doing. Uh, I think he's, uh, Pedro, uh, he did all of them too. He, he actually had a crash in the 500. So I don't know if that's impacted him either.
Okay, and Pedro is the defending world champion? No, Peter Michael is. Pedro won it two years ago. And Peter Michael, who got a world title already at the elimination race, was not able to make it into the final. He didn't look that fast today. Also with the relay team, I think they were out in the heats. Maybe he had a party there yesterday? Uh, maybe, but I, I doubt it. Today was a big day. I know Peter and he likes to win, so uh, I can't imagine him risking anything on that. Oh, oh, and there is a false start once again. This time it was one of the French skaters. But by now I think people are seriously considering going home again because they're worried there won't be any skating here today. What do you think? How many times can this go on? Well, each skater is only allowed one and uh, then they're disqualified. But uh, interesting though, I think that was actually a legitimate false start. Okay. Maybe we should turn to material a little bit. Everybody has been skating on 110 wheels now for a while. What do you think? Will this remain like this for the future as well? Uh, I'm not sure. We're currently developing something bigger, but uh, we're underway now. Okay, here we go. Who is in the lead? Uh, Bart Swings leading out. Uh, Pedro Calcil in second. Uh, Uwen Fernandez third. Alexi Contan fourth. So this is Bart. Is he going full already? No, he's only at about 80% at the moment. Uh, doesn't want to hit it too full. But he's just protecting that inside line. Because on these tracks, that's the most important. Pedro Calcil is a sprinter. He's right behind him. Is that an advantage? Uh, yeah, Pedro will just be waiting till it for as long as he possibly can. Okay, so it's Bart Swings in front. It's Pedro Calcil. And here comes the French train on the outside. But they're not able to pass. So far, oh. things are looking good. No, uh, the race definitely seems to be for Owen from a French point of view. So two laps to go. Pedro will start looking to try and make his move if he can anytime soon. But finally, Pedro will, his legs will be burning as well. Bart yeah. still looks strong. What will happen now? Here we go into the last lap. Alexi Contan around the outside. And it's still Bart swings in front with Pedro Calcio behind him, but Pedro looks tired. And there comes Alexis Contan. Yeah, Alexi Contan versus Bart swings. It's Bart swings, Bart swings against Alexi Contan, Alexi Contan, Bart swings. Who got it? Another, that's another gold medal for Bart swings. It swings on wings once again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is incredible speed skating. Well, respect to that, the crowd is going crazy. And once again, he took the gold. He seems to be unbeatable. That's three gold medals in three days for Bart. Uh, that's a pretty incredible streak right now. Definitely the skater to beat in the world at the moment. Okay, having said that, we're going to road.